miss spots you know there's still spots that probably still you know maybe a pipe now I, I showered people but i'm just saying there's uh you know i took 142 uh pies to the face this year wow well i'm i'm very proud of you and i'm and i'm happy to say that two of those pies were courtesy of yours truly two of those pies were from you so i mean uh you know thanks uh Thanks, Blade. Good morning, everybody. Thanks to uh, my favorite station, Rock 94.5. Um, I, love, uh, I love you guys, and I love uh, what you guys do to help us out. So, yeah, on, uh, on Sunday, we had, the, uh, we had our sixth annual Pie in the Face for Chase. And for those of you that don't know, uh, it's a uh, charity that, uh, that myself and uh, Rick and Annie uh, Cool started uh, six years ago. And uh, we raise money for their son, Chase. He is eight years old now. And... Uh, when he was two years old, he got diagnosed with Phelan McDermott syndrome. And uh, so we raised money for him and the Phelan McDermott syndrome foundation. Um, and just, you know, briefly, the, uh, the, the uh, disease is a, uh, it's a deletion of chromosome 22. So it's like there's growing disorders, there's epilepsy, there's, uh, there's seizures. You know, unfortunately, these, you know, there's only about 2,000 kids worldwide. It's a very rare disease. So Every year, uh, myself and 30, uh, you know, something others uh, go out there and take pies for like four or five hours to uh, to the face. And, um, you know, Blade, you're going to learn next year because Blade has uh, graciously uh, volunteered to uh, be one of those. Uh, he's going to be in the freshman class next year. But you'll see that it's, you know, sometimes it's not just to the face. Right. You know, could be uh, to, you know. They could make a diaper out of uh, out of a pie for you. I thank Colleen for that. But um, yeah, no, it, it's a um, it, it's a great event for you know for a you know for a bad disease for a horrible disease. But um, we uh, thanks to you know everybody that uh, came and and supported. I can say that we uh, when all said and done and we still have some money rolling in. We'll be uh, we'll be at about uh, twenty eight thousand dollars, and uh, and that's it's, amazing. It's amazing every uh, every year. As I say it, I get you know the goosebumps in the arms and stuff. And uh, every year we've you know we've gone up and up. You know, last year we raised twenty three. So and it goes far. You know, it, it's it's going to help. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into this. I I see it firsthand. What you know what the cools have to do with. Uh, with Chase's upbringing and all that, and then the the foundation itself. This this goes to research for therapies and 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 whatnot. And in 2020, every other year they do a uh, bi or they do a biannual conference. Mm-hmm. So, you know, families will go to that. Um, and you said you had some of these PMSF families there in attendance. We did. We had uh, we had four or uh, or or so families uh, that came to it this year, and uh, that was uh, that was really cool. Uh, for two years now. Uh, Dan Wall has has taken uh, pies to the face. He's a uh, he has a PMFS son in Boston, mm-hmm. and his uh, his wife Sarah uh, took uh, took pies last year. So, you know, so it, it's it's special to us. It's it's the community of you know it stretches from Queechy to uh, to Killington and all the towns in between that give us uh, donations. So that's very special, but, you know. But also for me, it's special seeing uh, seeing that. And you know, I got to tell you this that. Uh, Played that one of the pies. Uh, so Diane uh, Linehan, she is the uh, uh, she's the PMFS director of operations. Mm-hmm. She comes. She came to the event, and she took a pie to the face. She wasn't in the class. She uh, she took a, <laughs> she took a pie to the face. And the really cool thing is that the person that bought the pie was Sue Lomas, and Sue Lomas is the founder of uh, Phelan McDermott Syndrome Foundation. So Sue bought the pie, uh, and Diane was there to uh, to take it and. If you go, uh, if you go to our website, which is pieinthefaceforchase dot com, and just there's so much information on there about all this, but I specifically want you to just jump to the video page, and the media page, and just scroll down. You'll see highlights of all our past events, but keep scrolling because on there is these videos that I posted about, you know, some of about the kids and some about Chase. But my favorite video is this video called "Thank You, Sue Lomas," and it's all the kids thanking Sue mm-hmm. Lomas. You know, grab a uh, grab a Kleenex. You probably need it, but um, <clears throat> but it's it, you know it's it's very special. So um, there's a lot of there's a lot of great stuff on there. You know, you can still donate and or or to our website if you uh, if you want. But it, it's a it's a great event. You know, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We uh, you know, like I said, we raised uh, twenty eight thousand. We threw about 
a thousand pies uh, wow. that day. Um, I got to uh, I got to thank uh, uh, what is it the Von Von Trapp uh, Lodge. I get to go there uh, with my girlfriend to uh, stay because I was the uh, top money earner. So well, congratulations. Yeah, so I raised three thousand dollars, and as I said, I took one hundred and forty two pies. <laughs> <laughs> right everywhere you fantastic you know, I'm pointing to my body but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was uh it was it was it was really it was really cool it was uh it was a really it was a great great time and there are so many people that uh deserve recognition and thanks because this is not a one-man show this is not only the the community who contributes and such but so many people help make this a success every year yeah they do and and I, i'm going to get to the pie class in a second i just want to say like Men in Mountain Orchards, they made a, they made ninety pies for us and just graciously give them to us every year. And that's it's a small family operation and they yes. put a they put a lot into it. And the pies are really delicious. I really do love them. So they made ninety pies. But what's uh what's also amazing is that uh my, my girlfriend Julia Frankel, Will Spanos, Charlie Lewis, Jason Evans and Bill Kahn, just those people were the ones that actually made the pies all day. Julia and Charlie, a lot of it. So they made a thousand pies that day, just you know, just churning out, uh, <clears throat> churning out pies. But like you said, um, every year we uh, we bring new people in. Like Blade's going to be part of the freshman class next year. So our our freshmen that I want to thank that took pies all day are are our Bernie Cool, Chase's uncle, Brooke Angler, Cam, Matt Kapicki, Mike Coppinger, Murray McGrath, Josh Purple Guy Souza, Andrew Shane, Captain Jack Wallace, Bill Kahn, Beth Serendria. Nikki Adams, Kim Wartman, Mac Marciani, and Amy Laramie. That's our freshman class. And then our sophomores are Chase's mom, Annie, Kelly Lang, Sarah Filskoff. Our junior class is Chase's brother, Kyler Cool, Jason Evans, Dan Wall, Dave Parnell, Heather Grev Lizzie. Our seniors are uh, Tucker Adirondack, Carrie Barrett Tomasi, Jeremy Creeper Rayner. Our post grads is uh, Chase's sister, Karina, Jared Hall, and Don Sadie. And then when I started this charity uh, back six years ago, these people, I call them the OPs, the original pies, we couldn't do that without them. And they come every year. They've taken the most pies. It's uh, Chase's dad, Rick, myself, Team Canada's Peter Whittier, Kelly Spear, Colleen Collard, Sasha Priest, and uh, Sal from Moguls. It's also Linda Ross. She couldn't be here. She's flying the friendly skies. But um, and, and speaking of Sal, you know, we do this at Moguls every year, and Sal just goes out of his way, sets up the backyard, gives us everything mm-hmm. extra that we need, and takes pies himself. So, I mean, it's, it's a, uh, it really is a, uh, it's an amazing thing, and I, I can't, honestly cannot thank the community enough. You'll see all our thanks coming up on our, uh, on our Facebook page, but it, it, it's, it's amazing, Blade. It really is. And it's fantastic. You know, every year this gets bigger and bigger, and, you know, it's so nice. We live in a world where there, there just always seems to be so much, you know, meanness and hatred and evil things and people sniping at one another. It's so nice when there's a community event, and that's what goes to show that smaller communities are best because, you know, you get these – there's a, there's a uh, tight-knit – group of people in the community they all come together maybe we don't always get along but when something like this comes along you know we all become one part of a big family and you know for this uh uh, terrible tragic disease if there's one good thing that came out of it is people coming together to try to make it go away yeah and you know and and, you know something that i always want to say is that uh there's so many people, <clears throat> you know, they, they, they give us stuff. And we do door prizes and raffles and teacup offers and silent auction. And these donations just keep, uh, they keep pouring in. Right. And then people, people that are buying the pies, you know, we had, we had you know, $18,000 in pies raised or something like that. And, uh, and all those people that just, the people that I just named that go out there and that solicit themselves mm-hmm. to get pie in the face, it really is. It's, it's, a, it's the small communities of Killington. Killington is a great community that I've been in for for years, and then I'm learning. You know, I got to meet Andrew Shane from the Public House. He bought our T-shirts and all that, so I get to meet more and more. And they keep coming in to join this thing. And you know, it's it's a great organization. Like, like Diane coming, you know, f- to to attend the event. Right. And more families are showing up for it. And and uh, but you know, Chase himself is he is such a special boy. He. At the event, we gave him the red carpet treatment. Uh, Tri-state, <laughs> Tri-State Transportation brought him in in like a luxury van, rolled out the red carpet for him. We all come out and greet him, and that's how we start the event. 
And Chase was all smiles then coming out of the van. And you'll see this video out there, but he was all smiles throughout the day. You know, the boy, he's so special to me. He, he gives love, receives love. It, it's amazing. And the community shows the love for him. And I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. Well, it was another successful year. We've set the bar to a certain height with this, and we're going to overcome it next year. I'm sure, like I said, once the, the word gets out that uh, people can pie me, uh, they'll probably be lining up starting about a couple of months prior to the event. But uh, looking forward to working with you again. Uh, DJ Dave, uh, once again, thank you not only to yourself, but everybody who volunteered their time, volunteered the uh, the pies, everything that just made it such a huge success. And, uh, you know, hats off to you. It's, it's nice to see that uh, the community is still strong in this area. It definitely is. Uh, thank you, Blade. And like I said, thanks to you guys, uh, Rock 94.5, for, uh, for promoting it. I heard the ad uh, throughout the week, and uh, that was awesome. Thank you. All right. We'll talk to you soon.